Ah, sige. Sir, Senator Soto has proposed the revision of the national anthem. Will the palace support his proposal? Iniiwan lang po namin yan sa Kongreso. Mas maraming mas matitinding problema na dapat harapin. Bahala na po ang Kongreso dyan. Sir, last. Sir, the President met with the land bank officials and DBP officials yesterday. May we know the details of the meeting? Ang gusto kasi niya, yung land bank, bumalik sa kanilang mandato na tulungan yung mga malilita magsasaka. Hindi naman kasi po pwede na isang bangko na binuo ng gobyerno para tulungan magsasaka, hindi na malapitan na magsasaka dahil napakadaming requirements na hindi po pwedeng makomply ng mga malilita magsasaka. Ang mandato ni gobyerno ng ating presidente doon sa land bank, bumalik sa kanyang original mission and vision. Lumaki na kasi ng husto ang land bank, naging sophisticated universal bank na siya, bumalik doon sa kanyang pinanggalingan, tulungan ng mga magsasaka, maski kulang-kulang yung mga hinihinging requirements. Ngayon kasi kinakailang feasibility study, kinakailang mga ganyan na hindi naman alam ng magsasaka kung paano i-comply yan. No? So, importante na to remind the bank na kayo nandyan to provide instant credit para sa mga magsasaka, yung mga nais magtanim, yung mga biktima ng delubyo, uh, yun na talaga ang original mission and vision ng land bank. So yun po ang gusto niya, to remind them na lalo na ngayon, may mga ganitong sakunagaya ng uh, ompong, kinakailangan magbigay ng tulong sa lalong mabilis na panahon at uh, wag naman na uh, to insist on a long list of requirements like any other unibank would do so. May follow up? Other is Pina. Sir, yes, good morning. morning. Sir, any update po or developments dun sa investigation regarding the uh, missing in action mayors sa nung typhoon? Well, binigyan po sila ng panahon na sumagot, no? I'm not sure if it's five or ten days, pero isang araw pa lang po nakakalipas. So, they are being accorded the right to due process and a decision will be made shortly thereafter. Can, can we identify them? Wala pa po sir? yung mga pangalan ng uh, mga mayor, pero ang uh, isinapublik ko lang natin is ang ayon po tayo na dapat patawan ng uh, pinakamabigat na parusa yung mga mayor na missing in action sa panahon na pinakakinakinalangan sila ng ating mga kababayan. Sir, on another issue, I think the President met with top intelligence officials yesterday in Malacanang. May we know the agenda and if ever is connected sa itong tomorrow's uh, activities ng mga anti-Duterte groups, ano po bang directive ng Pangulo? Well, it's a regular intel briefing which unfortunately remains classified. May mga rallies daw po bukas, ano po bang guidance ng Malacanang? Well, you know, maximum tolerance po palagi ang nakasaad sa batas. At yan naman po ang sinusunod ni Presidente, whether or not there is a law. But more so since there is a law. Wala naman pong makakareklamo kay Presidente na balat si Buya si Presidente, hinahayaan niya, kinikilala niya importansya ng malayang pam uh, pananalita. So, we will give maximum tolerance to everyone because after all, the President was not the one who declared martial law in September 21 many years ago. Sir, how would you assess the threat against the administration? It's not anything that the state cannot deal with. Dream uh, on to those who want to remove the President. May follow up? Other issue, Bernadette. Sir, will the President declare state of calamity po considering that the World Bank loan will, is, will expire in two weeks po? We, we reserve judgment on that. I'm sure that um, policymakers are examining the issue. Um, I think Secretary Dominguez has said that there is this uh, emergency loan that may be procured up to $500 million upon declaration of a national state of calamity. So kung kinakailangan naman po yan, may proseso rin po yan eh. It's not just the President's de decision. The NDRRMC must formally meet and recommend to the President. So kung mangyayari po yung national uh, declaration na yan, it will depend on the NDRRMC. Okay, okay uh, sir. Team. Sorry, sorry, Joe. Okay, uh, Christine. Sir? Hi, uh, Christine. Do you still need yung EO that is being um, drafted uh, supposedly to ease yung importation of uh, food? Certainly. Given uh, yung 
the NFA has been reorganized, even the NFA Council. Hindi lang naman po bigas ang problema. Meron din tayong problema sa manok, may problema din tayo sa baboy, at may problema rin tayo sa gulay. So, kinakailangan po natin na mapadali yung proseso dahil alam naman natin, dapat meron tayong hakbang na ginagawa. Hindi man lang natin makontrol ang halaga, pagtaas ang halaga ng krudo, eh magawa natin ng paraan na bumaba ang presyo ng mga pagkain. Uh, pati yung what's this? Uh, so when will you issue the EO, sir? I'll follow up po, no? Kasi alam ko, dapat lalabas na yan as soon, soon as time possible. I'll choice. Sir, sa COA report lang, um, sabi ng COA, the country will have to pay 230.17 million in commitment policies to foreign lenders due to delayed and canceled projects in 2017. Um, ano pong reaction ng palasyo dito? Well, that's unfortunate, but if that is a finding of COA, no, it must be true, but tignan po natin muna kung ano yung mga dahilan kung bakit natin kinancel. Maybe po, mas malaki mawawala kung tinuloy natin yung mga pangungutang na yan, yung mga proyektong yan. So, ibig sabihin po, hindi naman po, ibig sabihin na palibasan na cancel, walang dahilan. Meron po talagang mga dahilan siguro, kaya hindi tinuloy. So, I do not know what these projects are, and I'm not able to comment specifically kung ano yung mga individual projects na ito. No? I'm just saying that malaking halaga yan, inaamin natin, pero there must be a bigger reason why. But I do not know the details as of yet. Uh, pero do we guarantee na babayaran natin itong commitment penalties? Well, kapag hindi po kasi, that will have ramific ramifications as far as yung credit trustworthiness ng Pilipinas. It will affect our credit standing and syempre po makaka-apekto yan dun sa ability to uh, raise funds from uh, overseas uh, sources. Sir, any message then dun sa landslide that happened sa Naga City, Cebu? Ako nakikiramay po kami dun sa mga naging biktima ng uh, landslide sa Naga at uh, asahan niyo po na lahat naman po ay magagawin ng gobyerno para maibsan yung uh, dalamhati na nararama ng mga biktima at titignan po natin kung paano natin may iwasan ang mga ganito pangyayari sa mga darating pang mga panahon. Last na. Sir, um, may group na nag-file ng complaint kay Asik Moka Uson sa Office of the Ombudsman and they're calling for the President to sack Asik Moka Uson. Well, let's wait for the decision of the Ombudsman dahil meron na namang ganyang complaint. The Ombudsman can all already order the dismissal of anyone in government um, because it is both an administrative and a criminal case. Igagalang po ng palasyo ang proseso. Kung sinabi ng Ombudsman si Baken, hindi po natin tututulan yan. The Ombudsman can order the dismissal but uh, we can't expect a dismissal order from the Office of the President. Sa ngayon po, hindi. Okay. Uh, Maricel? Hi, sir. Sir, pa tanong lang ng office. Uh, may we have your statement about the decision of the International People's Tribunal again, um, who has found the uh, President Rodrigo Duterte guilty of human rights violations, and they are saying that they will hand out the ruling. It will be forwarded to the United Nations Human Rights Council. That's a sham decision. Um, it has no official sanction. The validity of the findings will depend on the credibility of the tribunals. I'm in this field of law. I do not know who sat there. They appear to be a um, propaganda body of the international left, if not the... Um, um, and therefore, you know, we set it aside as being a useless uh, piece of propaganda against the government. Okay, uh, Alam nyo kasi in international law, even if it's um, not official, it could have a bearing depending on the stature of the individual sitting there. For instance, for comfort women, we had the comfort women tribunal here in Asia. No? But the people who sat there as judges include really individuals who later on were appointed to the International Court of Justice because they had the highest qualification, one who was prosecutor for the um, UN War Crimes Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. So, ganun. another was appointed the uh, um, human, um, human Rights um, High Commissioner for Human Rights. No? Pero tinitignan ko yung roster, di ko po talaga kakilala. It's really just uh, leftists no? who uh, happen to be white, sympathetic to the Philippine left. Grabe po kasi talaga yung networking ng Philippine left with left groups as well, particularly in Europe. 
Okay, mag-last question na tayo, Virgil. So the president said in a speech before troops in Isabela on Tuesday that the communist insurgency will be over by the second quarter of next year. So how will the government actually achieve this goal? Dalawang kombinasyon po yan. Yung patuloy na uh, pakikipaglaban sa kanila at yung patuloy na pag-iingganyo na mag-surrender ang mga nandaban o nanglalaban sa ngalan ng Communist Party of the Philippines. Marami po tayong mga surrenderees na binibigyan natin ng tulong para magkaroon ng bagong buhay. At at the same time, we're in the process of modernizing our armed forces. Hindi po sila talo, kumbaga, sa uh, military strength ngayon ng militar. Pero it's a combination of both. And plus the fact that we're confident that the people will know that the president um, was given a mandate to address the root causes of uh, rebellion, and he has been doing so. So it's not just a military solution? Hindi naman po. It's overall. It's the fact that our policies are directed to address the root causes of poverty and the fact that we are um, promising uh, NPA fighters a new decent life. Yung peace process kasi, kasi diba naka-suspend siya for the meantime to give way for the review of the existing agreements and consultations with stakeholders. Do we have an update on this? Po? Kung, ano? Wala pong update from now. Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ace Romero. Kala ko, hindi ka na darating, Ace. <laughs> Sek, may we have a follow-up on the status of the EO on the localized peace talks? I'll follow up, ha? Because... There's a draft already. It's a matter of um, having it issued. Siguro tinitignan lang ng uh, Office of the Executive Secretary because it was prepared by OPAP. Thank you, sir. Okay, no more questions. Oh, nasa na yung Joseph lookalike na si Ivan? Ah, wala ka bang tanong, Ivan? Ivan, a question ka? Kasi pinakamaraming tanong si Joseph eh. <laughs> Since you're representing him, baka may tanong ka. <laughs> okay, break now today. Okay, okay. no more questions. Salamat. Uh. Thank you. See you on Monday. Thank you, Presidential Spokesperson Harry Rocket, sa mga bisita natin at sa 